Time for me to meet Matt and show him this neat meat at the track meet. Hey, hey, hey. Matthew, check it out. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you breaking news at this hour. We cut to the live feed in the newsroom. So I'm thinking, my job is to talk to the people. Tell them the important news. The major stuff. I introduce them to the core concept of the stories. I am their anchor in troubling times. I tell them the news. I am the news anchor. Okay, then I want to be called the meteorologist. Meteor... what? Why that? Such a weird name. No, you tell people about the weather. You have a penis. Yeah, I sure do. You're a man. You tell them what weather to anticipate. Whether or not, they should wear a jacket going out. You'll be called the weatherman. The profession is meteorologist, dick. No, weatherman. <sighs> you make me sound like a damn superhero. Your superpower is being pretty inaccurate all the time. Well, yeah, I'm basically predicting the future. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the only thing certain about the future is its uncertainty. All you do is ramble about important things that have already happened. Talk about an easy job. Well, talking about weather that's already happened would be pretty pointless. Oh, sure was cold yesterday, huh? <laughs> Let's talk about that. Yeah, okay. Predict the next murder crime. The next tax increase. Let them know about the creep in their neighborhoods before they're there. Sure would be handy to know when the cops are going to catch that pervert so we can go back to not caring about what our kids are doing in the streets. I can be called the sports anchor. Yeah, what's the point of you again? If the viewer cares about sports, why don't they just watch the damn sport itself? Ha, <laughs> yeah, because everyone has time to watch every three-hour football game in the season. We're just trying to cover topics the viewer actually cares about. So the government fucking up, sports, celebrities doing whatever, and a few minutes of some local kid being murdered so we can all stay well aware of how we're slowly spiraling on a flying ball through nothingness, a lump of mud circling the drain of mediocrity. Oh, of course, popular topics. Why don't we just have a war anchor, too? He can ramble about military attacks and raids going on overseas. Or a food anchor, he can give news. On food. Because everyone eats. The hell are you doing? What do you think? I'm writing this down. These are great ideas! Oh, yeah, great ideas. Let's do a wallpaper report while we're at it. We can do reports on paint and how it dries. Or maybe like a, an air anchor, he can sit there and talk about air and look at everybody breathing all the time. Everybody breathes, right? You know, you hold your breath. Oh, let's have some news about that. You know what else everybody does? Poop. This just in, everybody poops. Back to you, other man. Meteorologist! Okay, what the hell do meteors have to do with the weather? Meteors are in space, you dumbass. I, I'm not really sure. They crash onto the Earth through the sky, which is where the weather happens. Oh, so the planet itself can't have weather? Or the caves? Ocean currents aren't a thing in your world? <laughs> Tell that to flash floods, or the earthquakes. Is a tornado only weather if it doesn't touch the ground? Does a bear poop in the woods? What is it with you people and poop? People and poop? Poople? And if they do, does it make a sound if no one's around to hear it? No, they silently poop. Bears get self-conscious when they poop by themselves. Freaks them out. Look at the way that football guy holds that dookie, just cradles the turd. He's going to the end zone while turtling, folks. Will it be the fuel he needs to beat the clock, or will he leave that shit out there on the field? Breaking news at this hour, this has spiraled completely out of control. We apologize for whatever that was. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Huh, that is some neat meat. Makes me want to completely compete with an elite athlete discreetly. It is odd that I've been staring so long at it. Convenient for the viewers at home, but odd. Take a bite. 